I found out about that war happened not not from your news. Oh. I was there near Kiev oh, and really? I just heard bombs. Now you are in Japan. What what happened? Like how 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 you came to Japan from there? <laughs> yes. Hello everyone, how are you guys? Good morning, everyone. 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 Good morning, 多くの人に本当の今の現状を知ってもらうためにこういう動画を作るのはどうですかともし撮影に興味があれば彼女たちに僕の方から話しますよというふうに言ってもらい今回ですねウクライナから避難民として日本に来ているウクライナ人女性2人にインタビューさせていただく機会を設けることができましたこの動画は何が間違ってて何が正しいとか誰が悪い誰が悪くないとかそういうことではなくて国と国の争いは僕らみたいな一般人の人の人生をどのように変えてその人たちの人生は今後どうなっていくのか今日本という国に来ることになりどう感じながら生活しているのかニュースを見ているだけではいまいち心からそういう人たちがどういう風に感じながら生きているのかわからないはずですもし明日自分の身に同じことが起きたらどう思うだろうそんなことをしっかり考える、えー、動画にすることができたらなと思いますということで早速行きましょう Thank you very much for your cooperation. How are you today? Oh, pretty good. Very good? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, pretty good. Very good? Yeah.、Uh, do you know o g e n k i d e s u k a Hi, o g e n k i d e s u k a g e n k i d e s u k a Thank you, thank you. So,、um, I'm a Japanese YouTuber who interviews people about any kind of topic pretty much in Australia because I live in Australia and it's a good place. To do that kind of thing because Australia has a diversity. So, in this video today, I want to ask you ladies about your life and how the war affected your life,、uh, which I believe is going to be very helpful for Japanese people to understand what's been really happening and how that can affect to normal people's life, like us. You know, we're all the same human.、Yeah. So, you two are born and raised in、uh, Ukraine, right? Yes, right. What was your life like? What were you doing before the war happened? I was working in the kindergarten,、okay. English kindergarten, last two years. And then everything was fine in Ukraine. We travel a lot, we work fun, we can meet different people from different countries. So everything's good.、Mm. And it was just normal life. Yeah. So, pretty like, much normal. Yeah, nothing bad like happened.、This. Yeah, like yeah. usual life. You want to run maybe in the morning, okay? You want to have a cup of coffee in the morning, okay? You want to meet your friends, I don't know, in the evening somewhere, that's fine. So, it was just usual, really good life. So, you work as a teacher in a kindergarten. What did you used to do、um, before the war happened?、Uh, I studied a lot. I'm 24, but still, I tried to study and study. Okay. What did、yeah. you study? Uh, I studied、uh, design and I'm an artist. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so tried to get better all the time. And even, and I was interested in the same time in、uh, Asian culture. Oh, so really? I started to learn Chinese. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and I watched a lot of anime. Oh, <laughs> yes, right, yes. Right, right.、Uh, that inspired me a lot,、uh, yes, to create my art. <laughs>、yeah. Wait, is ja、um, Japanese anime popular in、uh, Ukraine as well? Yes, yes、oh, yeah. you are a really popular.、Yeah. Oh, really? You were a university student or something before? I finished. Oh, yes, finished. I finished、uh, English language and Ukrainian language. Like, I can teach Ukrainian language and literature. Okay.、Mm, the same. <laughs> and、um, in、uh, February 2022, it literally happened. I think not many people really expected that this is literally, like, this literally happened. Maybe, you know, many people, many media were talking about it, but then it happened. How did you feel when that happened? I think we expected it. We, like, knew that. It will happen one、oh, really? day, yes. It started eight years ago,、mm. and we had this experience before. So we、oh, knew、okay. that our territories is not like they're not so independent, like it、mm -hmm. should be. Some regions are closed even for Ukrainians.、Mm -hmm. So we expected that something can happen, but we didn't expect it would be like now, this time,、mm -hmm. because I don't、you、know, it sounds like yeah. Yeah, maybe some、uh, operations maybe there, I don't know. but The real war g e n o c i d e and that's another thing. We didn't expect this,、uh, exactly this level of. Oh, this, this level of a catastrophe、yes. happened、yeah. like literally in your, your time, your lifetime. Yeah, yeah. But yeah.、Uh, you say maybe most of the Ukraine people 
like was expecting that one day it can yes, happen if it's yes, like this. Yes, for sure. I found out about that war happened not not from your news. Oh. I was there near Kiev, oh, and really? I just heard bombs. Not from the news, like y suddenly explosion no, happened. I, like wake I up with there. explosions, yeah. I was in Ukraine, and it happened. And actually, before I was sleeping, and uh, in five in the morning, my friend from the center of Kiev just called me, and she said. Just make your bag, small bag, and just go away because war started. They bomb us. That and I just hang out and I just, I was like a robot, like in shock. I just got up and I started to pack a bag. That's it. And then in a few seconds, I've heard explosion. So that, that was terrible, terrible <laughs> feeling of <laughs> yeah, that, 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 it, that is crazy because you are like normal people like us, right? Yes. Like go to yeah. work, complain sometimes, but on the weekend you had fun with your friends yeah. and then suddenly your life is in really serious danger. And uh, I need to ask, what did you do after that? What, what happened to you guys? Like, where, where did you go? We had a little bit different experience. Okay. So, as I said, I was working in the kindergarten mm -hmm. and then I just decided to rest a little, just for a short time maybe. Okay. And I went to Europe just okay. for a short time. Yeah. So, before. I was going to return to Ukraine like um, maybe 27th of January or of February. I had the ticket. Yeah. So, I couldn't return home yeah. just because because everything like started and I remember that the same uh, like morning when I had this news I called my granny and I heard these explosions like I mean, when this, you're talking yes when I was talking with my granny I was That's talking crazy. to her she was really nervous crazy and she said like uh, don't return to Ukraine don't like uh, just throw this ticket away because uh, you can't return and she, she was talking to me and I heard this uh, sound of emergency I heard these explosions and I, I, I don't no, I was shocked and I don't know what did she feel that time especially like she's like 66 years old and anyway she was really really shocked and the only one thing she could tell me that time like don't return stay there and wait this story is really good really important to tell people because we yes. all we see from the news is like uh, hey like what happened who's wrong who's correct and uh, Everyone just looks sad, but we can't really see the individual life, the life's there. Yes. So you are, I don't know if it's the right term, but you are lucky maybe you are not in the inside a country. Yes, um, yeah, that's, I think so. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Sophia has uh, yeah, another experience, story. yeah, because okay. she was in Kiev that time. So you so had a bombing, she had a bombings. And yes. uh, like all the Ukraine, was yeah, all the Ukraine, time. Yeah. yeah. We were in a small city near Kiev, yeah, and uh, we've heard this explosion from the center of Kiev because firstly they bombed Kiev, and then probably small, small regions, uh, small towns, and we were always afraid that they will come uh, very fast to Kiev, right? And we are we live near Kiev. Ten days we were like worrying, and we didn't. Uh, uh, turn on light. We didn't eat, we didn't drink coffee, we didn't do anything. We just slept in a small corridor with all my family, like my grandmother's uh, 86 years old, my sister, my mom, and we were just in a small room near the door with our bags. We were ready also every any minute just to run uh, out the house. It's really hard to listen to your story as well because um like I said, this is really different from what we see from the news and this is really realistic. I can see you're like a normal people enjoying life and uh, and when you're running, maybe you are ready to... Maybe one day you, it can happen. Yeah. yeah, right? My granny feels the same. She, ha uh, she said like, uh, I don't need anything now because I feel like that's the end. Like yeah. anytime I can die and I'm ready to that. And that's really terrible yeah, just to understand same. that your relatives ready to you went to another country, you said, um, after that. Where, where did you go? Again? Uh, we decided to go to Polish border, yeah. to Poland, because all Ukrainians just uh, crazily just ran away to Polish border and a lot of traffic. When we decided to 
like go out from our house it was so terrible and we felt this smell of smoke or something you know iron mm. in air mm. and we just took a car and we went to Polish border and I saw burnt cars at dogs in the middle of the roads yes I saw buildings not buildings anymore Yes, I saw, I saw it. Dead cities. Just lights. imagine one, okay, just one. Imagine one city and absolutely destroy it. No buildings, no cars, no people there. Like, ash is everywhere and it's all. And people under the ground. Yes, hiding still, and they are hiding. Without food and water. What you see was definitely hard to hard to see it was a beautiful ukraine cities and like yes, small really traditional buildings and all that and yes, suddenly it's all buildings. destroyed you yes. went to poland and you were in italy yeah. now you're in japan what, what happened like, how 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 you came to japan from there <laughs> yes so yes we got polish to polish border and yeah. then we took a bus to germany yeah. and then uh, we found some kind people <laughs> that just uh, took us to uh, their home and then I lived there like for, uh, for two months yes and then I just uh, saw something in Instagram just a post of uh, one guy a Japanese guy that he helps Ukrainians and I was like oh my, oh my god I wanted to, so like for so long I wanted to go to Japan like this is my chance yeah. yes even after all these things maybe probably I deserve something better finally you know, and it was the reason to change something, this war, just to go away, to change my life, and I took this chance. Yeah. Thanks to Japanese people. That's that's a really fair play to the person. So you came to Japan, uh, and what happened to you? <laughs> almost same, you know. We found the same post on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, and maybe contact almost the same time to this oh, person. Really? Yes, we didn't know each other before. Okay. Yes. And we didn't know this person. Yeah. <laughs> but so you know, like just post. Someone said, "Just I'll help you to go to, to Japan." We don't know this person. We don't know the situation. Yeah. We don't know like Japan for sure. And like, just decided to go. <laughs> Our bluebird, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like interested in Japan even before that? Yes. Oh yeah, like yeah, uh, because I was of anime. My, uh, <laughs> anime, yes, manga, and you know Asian um, music because traditional Asian music is really good yeah. and. Uh, we've got Japanese restaurants a lot in okay. Ukraine. So, oh, really? Yeah. I eat sushi almost every yeah, day. Yeah, oh. Ukraine. So You're more Japanese than I am then. <laughs> even Japanese food for me is even, um, I feel it like mostly mine, more yeah. than comfort, Ukrainian. Comfort. Yeah, quite comfortable food. We were interested in Japan before. That's why we thought like, if we have this chance now, we, we will go. try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I was yes. so happy. I screamed like, ah, <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Finally, yeah. <laughs> yes. how's your life in Japan? You know, you must have something that you really like about Japan, and also, oh, this is really hard to <laughs> hard to accept or hard to live with in Japan because you know that because you started living in Japan now. I like this life here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I really like because I think I like almost everything now about Japan. A few things um, which are maybe difficult for me. Mm. That's uh, a lot of paperwork here. Like if you want to do something, you should sign a lot of papers. Yeah. We don't have so many ma uh, so many papers yeah. in Ukraine. So we love it, papers. Yes, and yeah. it was like what? <laughs> yes. um, and maybe humidity. Humidity, yeah. Yes, that's wow. another thing we don't have this humidity in Europe. So well, I think only these the two things summer. and that's all. Yes. You're gonna face the Japanese summer soon. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Real, real. That's oh real. God. But people are really good. They try to help. They try to uh, speak to us and uh, uh, Japanese. Uh, like people help us to find language school they help us to find a house they help us with clothes food so you know they really help us a lot yeah that's why we can feel ourselves really comfortable here it's really good to hear that as a japanese you know i don't really hear but uh i'm i can proud of japanese people you know yeah, yeah, like yeah. this and uh yeah how's your life what do you like about japan what do you don't like about japan i don't like bottoms <laughs> what is it bottoms bottoms yes like <laughs> They're everywhere in my uh, hotel. Yeah. I pressed the wrong bu uh, button. Oh and damn! And like into hours, of opening the door, it yes. was emergency bottom. And oh in two hours, God. a policeman came to rescue me from something. <laughs> and she things, was just drinking tea, you know, at the time. Yes, and uh, things got. Uh, he spoke English a bit, and I explained situations that I don't know anything like about. Oh and it's my, my first God. time in Japan. 
and he, he just asked me to teach him Ukrainian words. Yeah. And I was he said that it was a long way to my part. <laughs> oh my god. Well, lucky he was a nice man, eh? Yeah, nice. for sure. What do you do now in Japan? Uh, do you do you go to school or...? We try to study Japanese. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, just for two weeks now, but it's really good now. And you know, Asian language and feeling that you're here, you can study it from the native speakers, uh, like quite comfortable and step by step you can understand people around you yeah, like yeah, yeah. you can buy something in the store yeah. and you can understand uh like or ask can you pay like by card or maybe with cash and like now you can do something, you can say something, you can understand, it's like, wow! Yeah, <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. That's yeah, an amazing really feeling amazing when you're feeling. learning languages. Right? You go to school too? Yes. The same school, school? Yes. the same class? And she's oh, the, best, the best students in our group. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. You sound like a teacher, hey? Like, she's the best student in our school. I'm proud of <laughs> Okay. All right. What kind of future are you expecting now? Are you gonna? Do you think you you wanna go back to Ukraine or you wanna settle down in Japan or? I think we still don't know. Like, I mean, we want to return to Ukraine to rebuild it, like yeah. to start everything from the beginning, and it would be real new yeah. Ukraine, and it would be I, I don't know, like all the people, all these millions of people will return to Ukraine and. We will build something amazing, I, I think. Something we better than ready. before. Yes, yeah. we're Brilliant ready future. for that. And we feel it like we are all like one person. We are together. Yeah, brothers. So, yeah. yeah, it would be amazing. And now we just want to have this experience like with languages, with everything we see here, maybe how it's like it's comfortable and maybe we will take something for us, like how we can organize everything. But we still don't know how long would it be? How long do we have to stay here? So like, the, many questions, we'll but still like we didn't know these answers yeah um you know even in japan of, of course we have a pros and cons you can use this experience to you know to get all the ideas and maybe yes, bring it back yes. to your country and yes. you can it can be a very helpful to rebuild your yes, country because now we need it it's destroyed and we need to help like everyone to create something new. Yeah, yes. you feel the same? Yes, I, I hope that Japan will, I believe that Japan will teach me a lot. Yeah, a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah, new yeah. things. I will be more wiser, more mature. I hope we will too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Last thing is that uh, if you have any um, anything you want to say to Japanese people. Yes, uh, I have. Please, <laughs> please talk to me more. I'm, lo I'm lonely. <laughs> Okay, don't be shy. Don't Talk be to shy. these ladies. Be really, don't yeah. be shy. They're not scary people. <laughs> yes. yes, we are quite straight, so you can like ask different questions, and we are fine to answer them. Yeah. Like we're fine to yeah. meet you. We have a new day. Yeah. Thanks God, we have it in yeah. Japan. Big we, in Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still <laughs> want to enjoy this life. Yeah. So yes. just meet new people and enjoy this life. This moment. Yes. Ready to smile. Yeah. <笑> okay. Thank you very much for your help. Thank you so much. Thank you. はい、ということでね、ここまでインタビュー動画撮ってきました。まあ、どうしてもね、ニュースとかを見ているだけだと、ウクライナの人かわいそう、ウクライナの人かわいそうってね、まあ、確かにそういうふうにまあ共感をするというか、心から理解するのって大事なんですけど、あの実際にこうやってまあそういう当事者たちがどういうふうな気持ちを抱えて生活しているのか、それから、えー、日本でね、実際こう避難民として暮らしているのかって言ったところが、えー、お届けできている。えー動画になったんじゃないでしょうか僕もね一インタビューアーとしてすごく今日の動画あのー、まあ話してて辛い場面もありましたけど、まあ、何よりねやっぱりこう彼女たちの笑顔がすごく見れてね、まあ、それを本当にまあ話してて楽しかったというか、あのー、僕もねすごく嬉しく思いました実際彼女たち以外にもウクライナから避難民として日本に来ている人、えー、たくさんいますまあ僕らねこう募金とかして、えー、そういう方々を<笑>助けることっていうのはもちろんできるんですけどもうすぐ今すぐできることってやっぱりこう皆さんね日本楽しむ準備できてると思うし、まあ、友達作りたいっていう,いうふうに、えー、彼女みたいに思ってる人もたくさんいると思うのでこう話しかけてねより日本を楽しんでもらえるように、えー、していくのも、えー、僕らのやるべきこと一つなんじゃないかなと思います今まではニュースを見てウクライナの人たちかわいそうだなウクライナではこんなことが起こってるんだぐらいで理解してた人も、えー、この動画を見ることによって、えー、そういう人たちはこんなことを感じながらそしてこんなことを感じながら日本で生活しているんだそこまで分かっちゃったと思ってるあなたがそこにいるのであれば見るだけで頭の中グローバル化しちゃいましたね最後まで見てくれた皆さんありがとうございますこの動画良かったなと思ってもらえた方はぜひチャンネル登録忘れずに高評価も忘れずにまた次の動画でお会いしましょうバイバイ